Hello and welcome to Excel-Templates.com. My name is Steve True. Please visit our blog at Excel-Templates.com so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques, Excel's tips and tricks. Okay, uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at conditional formatting. did this recently in a chart regarding Tiger Woods um, and I wanted to show you the tips and tricks on conditional formatting in case you're not aware of uh, how to make it easier. When I first started to do uh, conditional formatting, I was unaware of a couple of things. I didn't know how to write a formula that handled multiple cells, uh, and I also just uh, made my formulas way too complex. So let me show you the couple of tips and tricks regarding conditional formatting. Okay, so we have this chart here, this table. These are all of the top five names for births from uh, 1912 to 2011. So they are, uh, uh, every year, we've got the top five female names and the top five male names, but as a table, it's just huge. There's just a ton of information here. Here's Madison, here's Madison, here's Jacob, here's Jacob, Jacob. So it's just really tough to kind of see all of this data. So I thought, well, it'd be nice if I could say, just show me the ones that start with S, or show me the ones that start with E or J or what have you. So. I thought this would be a great sample of doing conditional formatting on this table. Um, so let me show you how we go about doing that. First, I will take a look at my solution. So you can see here, uh, right now I have um, starts with S. You only see Sophia showing. Uh, right next to it is Isabella. You can see that up here in the formula bar, but it looks like it's hidden because it's actually white text on a white background. So if you change the conditional format font to white, it will look like it's hiding these values. So if I come in here and hit J, look at that. We, uh, well, J is probably a bad one. Let's do E. Okay, there's Emma, 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 Emily, Emma. Ethan is over in the male section. So um, all of the values are still there. Not quite sure if you can see that, but uh, there's white text in there where the S's are for Sophia. And now Emily is also white. So. Um, see how that uh, how that works so let's go ahead and show you how that conditional formatting works so what you want to do is I recommend first highlighting the entire range um, of cells that you want to affect uh, with this conditional formatting so let's see that will start here in B6 and you can download this file on my blog at excel dashboard templates.com uh, and I'm going to highlight all the way down to K105 so let me scroll back up so you can see that. So our actual active cell is B6, down to K105. Then you want to go up to your home ribbon. In your home ribbon, you have this conditional formatting button in the styles group. Click on that. And then uh, for this one, I really didn't find a good one that really fit the system that I'm trying to do. It says text that contains, well, if it contains an S, that means uh, uh, Stephen and Sophia, but also anything ending in an S or has an S in the middle, like Ashley would show up. So I don't see anything that says text starting with. Uh, so we have to create what's called a new rule. We want to click on new rule. And then uh, these ones are the same thing that uh, you saw before on the previous menu, duplicates, cells that contain, that sort of stuff. But we want to do this last one use a formula to determine which cells contain the format. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to write a, a formula in here, and here's the first trick that I did not know about this uh, when it came to conditional formatting. You always want to write this formula as though this formula is only affecting cell B6. So I'm going to say equals, and since we're looking at the leftmost letter of the name, we want to do left and we want to look at B6, and we want to look at the first character within B6, um, and if that does not equal what's in cell B1, I'm going to click on B1, um, then we want it to actually put the formatting on here. So um, if the left of B6 is not an S, like for Isabella, we want it to do something. What we want it to do is we want it to actually hide this cell. And we're going to fake hide it, if you will, by going to Format. And then we're going to choose the Font tab. So usually you'll be on the Number tab. Click on the Font tab. Click on the Color uh, Pick List. And then we want to 
click on the white background, so as our actual font color, and then click on OK. And uh, so the, the real trick here is the first thing is we always want to write this formula in terms of our leftmost uh, or our uh, top left cell, only one cell, and it'll affect the entire range and treat the formula the same way. The second thing that we want to do is we want to write this formula in such a way that it either equals true or it equals false. Now I could have written an if statement here, if left of b6 comma 1 uh, does not equal b1, uh, then do true, else do false, but this formula here does the same thing. If you ever do an equal sign, a formula, and then a value or another formula that contains a value, um, it will compare these two and it's going to say this formula is either true or this formula is either false. So that's your two tips and tricks for conditional formatting. Write the formula as though you're doing it to the top leftmost cell and make your formula equal to true or false in the simplest way possible. So if I click on OK, look at that. All of my values here for Isabella, uh, Isabella, Emma, Emily, they're all hidden by their formatting being changed to a white font color. So if I now change this value to I, you'll see Isabella shows up. If I change it to E, you'll see Emma and Emily show up. So uh, it, it's getting rid of values that we don't want to see. It's a way to quickly choose and take a look at your, uh, your different table options and formatting. Um, let's do S, and let's see if Steve ever showed up here. Uh, so if we scroll down the female names, lots of S's. Sarah, Samantha, Sarah. Uh, Susan, Susan, Shirley, um, lots of different values in there, but you know what? There's absolutely no male names starting with S in the top five in the last 100 years. So I guess Steve True is unique. So hopefully that helps you understand conditional formatting. Please visit my blog at excel-boardtemplates.com so that you can download the sample file. You can also see the step-by-step -step tutorial uh, in case you missed any of the steps. Thanks, and uh, see you in the next post.